Hi, this is Mario Napa and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I hooked up this solar panel you see on the ground here to my to charge the batteries on my boat. It's a Bass Tracker 165 and my issue was I didn't want to have to uh, use two different solar panels for each of the batteries in the boat. As most of you probably know, there are two batteries. You have your starter battery, then you have your trolling motor battery. The trolling motor battery is usually a little bigger. This one here is a 27H, this is a 24H, and um, the circuits are separate. And usually when you run your boat and you're done for the day out on the water, trolling motor battery would have a lower voltage because you've used it, there's no way of recharging it. The starter battery um, you know, is only used to start and run some of the electronics, which don't draw very much. And, um, um, but is also recharged when you start the uh, engine, the motor of the boat. So I wanted to be able to use one solar panel to do both. And um, pose a question to the DIY solar forum and they suggested that I use a 100 watt panel, which I already knew. I'll show you some calculations which show how long it's going to take to charge my batteries up with that 100 watt solar panel. And and um, they suggested using this DC voltage converter to convert the voltage from one battery and use it to charge the other battery. So this solar charge controller, which comes with the kit I bought, the kit will be uh, shown in the uh, comments below or in the description below. You have your solar panels connected here and then your battery is connected here. And the battery is connected to my the back battery, which is the trolling motor battery. The trolling motor battery is then connected to the, or it goes through this switch. So right now, this is a battery turn shutoff switch, and you can see the battery switch is on. Um, now this is connecting this DC voltage, the vo uh, DC voltage converter is converting the 8 to 40 volts coming in from the um, trolling motor battery and using it, sending it over to the, in the output here, to the starter battery. So the input voltage to this thing is now 14.3, 14.4 volts. Okay, here you see all the components schematically. You see the battery outputs. Uh, the, the negative goes directly to the trolling motor battery and the positive does as well. Then the positive of the trolling motor battery goes to the battery switch. And the output of the battery switch goes to the DC to DC converter. This allows isolation of the two batteries. The negative goes to the negative terminal. The negative terminal of the trolling battery goes to the DC to DC converter. And the output of the DC, DC converter, 13.8 volts, goes to the starting battery. The input could be actually less than 13.8 volts, but the output will still be 13.8 volts. And the solar panel is connected to the plus and minus on the eco-worthy so uh, charge controller. Hold on while I connect these. The output voltage is supposed to be 13.8 going to the starter battery. I don't know if you can see that, it's 13.84. Now, watch what happens when I disconnect using that switch. Switch is now off. Trolling motor battery is now 13.5. So it's probably close to being fully charged. Now, you see what happens when I switch it back connect them through the voltage converter. 
13.8. So, as you can see, you can use one battery, one, one solar uh, system, one, one solar panel to charge both your trolling motor battery and your starter battery. Now, this is going to sit next to the, the battery down there. I'm going to move this whole thing into the, the compartment. When I'm done charging, all I have to do is disconnect the solar panels, flip this from run or on to off, and take the boat out and run. When I come back, put the, the, pull the boat into the RV boat lot, plug in the solar panel, flip this switch. Now you're saying, why did you need to put the switch in? I put the switch in because when I'm running out there, if, if this were all connected and I didn't have this battery isolation switch, when I was roll, um, the, the trolling motor would constantly be charging the starter battery up to 13.8 volts. So I'd be using troller motor battery um, to charge it when it really didn't need it because it was having, uh, it gets charged from the, from the, when the, boat, uh, the alternator on the boat. The motor, the uh, boat motor. So it was just a precaution, and uh, also it also allows me to isolate the two systems, so I didn't get noise from the trolling motor on the electronics. So pretty straightforward. I'll I'll put a link below for everything that I purchased for this, including the connectors. There's no soldering involved. These are all. Um, I need to heat shrink these. These are crimp connectors with heat shrink tubing on it. So I got a couple. I got a heat shrink yet here and uh, looks like it's gonna work great I'll never have to bring the boat to the house again to charge it up it'll be charged and ready to go just got to go over there disconnect the panels turn to flip the switch and, and go fishing if you have any comments leave them below and uh, till next time